Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy, D-Lord, and welcome back to week 11 of our Pittsburgh Steelers Madden 20 Premier Madden League Series. Man, we are sitting here with a 4-5 and five record after our loss to the Baltimore Ravens, and in this episode, we are going to be taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They are sitting with a record of 4-5, and five, so we definitely want to get back in the winning category, man. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the game. They get the football first, so right away, they are handing it off to the running back. Le'Veon Bell, he picks up the first down there, but they are going right back to him. He gets a nice solid game right there. A couple plays later, they go right back to the ground again. Le'Veon Bell this time is picking up a first down. So they know who their main guy is, and they are going to continue to give him the rock. Picking up another first down is Le'Veon Bell, but right here it is third and six. This time to go with the play fake, and they're looking for a wide receiver, and Devin Bush is there to knock it down. Tampa Bay will have to settle for a field goal, which will be good. So they score first, three to nothing. But here comes our offense. Trevor Lawrence trying to find an open receiver. He will find Tyler Johnson making that reception and being brought down at the 45-yard line. Three plays later, third and six. Trevor Lawrence stepping up in the pocket, taking a shot down the field, and he is going to find his target, James Washington, down to the 14-yard line. A couple plays later, Lawrence pump fake, looking down the middle of the field, and this time it will fall incomplete, and we... We have to settle for our own field goal attempt, which is up, and it is good. So we're all knotted up at three apiece. Here comes Tampa Bay going right back to the ground. And Le'Veon Bell is going to find room to run, picking up a game of about 24 right there. Third and four now. This is Justin Herbert. He's going to drop back. He's going to find a wide open wide receiver moving those chains. Second and nine. Herbert dropping back again, trying to move to his left. He's looking, and this one will end up being picked off. Kobe Boyce. The rookie, this is his fourth straight game with the interception. So he's definitely on quite a streak right here. Eric Gray, nice juke move. And look at Eric Gray bouncing to the outside. That is just speed right there. He will eventually be brought down at the 45-yard line. But we are not done. We're trying to get some points on this drive. Trevor Lawrence taking a shot down the field. But Tyler Johnson could hold on to it. No points on the drive. And here comes Tampa Bay. Still tied up at three piece. Looking down the middle of the field. And they're going to find the Joku to tie it in. And can he score? No, he will not. We bring him down at the one yard line. But the next play does not matter because they're going to clean it up. Getting into the end zone. Tampa Bay is up 10 to 3 here. Midway through the second quarter. Here comes Eric Gray. Look at that speed. Him against Hargraves. Who's going to win the foot race? It's going to be Eric Gray. Touchdown. Pittsburgh answers right back. Third and 12 now for Tampa Bay. Herbert looking down the field. And this one's going to be picked off by Terrell Edmonds. And that is a nice interception where they gets up and is able to get a few extra yards as well. A couple plays later in the drive. Lawrence, he's looking. He's going to find the all-pro tight end. That is Grant Calcaterra who gets into the end zone. So Pittsburgh now in the lead. Under one minute to go here in the half. And Tampa Bay, they're trying to get some points before halftime. Finding their wide receiver there for a nice game. Herbert dropping back. Finding his receiver again, who is Crowder, getting out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Now, 15 seconds remaining in the half. Finding Le'Veon Bell, but he's going to find Devin Bush. Devin Bush forcing that fumble. Edmonds is going to be there to recover. Only eight seconds remaining here in the half. So we thought we were going to just run out the clock, but Eric Gray has other plans. Nice new juke move. Can we get the block? Yes, we can. Grant Calcaterra gets the block, and Eric Gray is gone. Like I said, I thought we were just going to run out the clock, but it ends up being an 80-plus yard touchdown run, 24 to 10 going into halftime, and the Steelers get the football first, and here comes T-Law, Trevor Lawrence, he's taking off running, sliding down safely at the 49, first and 10, Lawrence, he's looking for his all-pro tight end, and he will connect with his tight end, Grant Calcaterra getting into the end zone, second touchdown of the day for Grant Calcaterra. 31 to 10 now is the score. It looks like Njoku is going to make that catch, but Sean Davis says no, no. He's going to break that one up. They're going to punt the football. This is Kenyon Drake filling this one at about the 25-yard line, going to the left side. A nice little spin move gets two defenders there. Outruns another defender. Oop, another juke. And then he gets brought down. A nice punt return that sets up this field goal attempt, which will be good. So 34 to 10. Three minutes ago left in the third quarter. Here is Herbert dropping back, taking the shot down the field. And this is a big no-no because this one's going to be picked off by Sean Davis. I don't know what's going on after the pick, but the pick was still nice. Tip drill definitely comes in handy right there. First and 10, here's Trevor Lawrence. He's taking the shot, and he is going to connect with, once again, 
Grant Calcaterra, his third touchdown of the day. Right now, the route is on 41 to 10, but here comes Tampa Bay playing for pride at that point. Nice reception there. Herbert dropping back, looking to his left, and this one will be a defensive pass interference. So it looks like a bailout right there for Tampa Bay. Herbert looking for a wide receiver, and this time he will not be bailed out. That is Edmonds coming up with another interception, his second of the day. And here comes Lawrence now. Can we get something going? He will find LaVisca Chenault making that reception, taking off down the sideline, being brought down at the 46-yard line. Two plays later, Lawrence dropping back again, looking for Grant Calcaterra one-on-one with the linebacker. That is a no-no. He is making that reception right there. You know he's going to go get it just about every single time. First and 10, we have Eric Gray wide open. He is making that reception. He's going to be brought down at the 11-yard line. Third and three, trying to get this one into the end zone. Lawrence stepping up, couldn't find an open receiver, and he couldn't get the first down. We will have to settle for a chip shot field goal, which will be good. 44-10, to 10, under five minutes to go here in the ball game. Here is Herbert. Like I said, Tim Bay playing for pride. He's going to find his go-to wide receiver, Mike Evans, making that reception at the 47. Two plays later, the blitz is coming. They pick it up perfectly, and they're going to find the Joku making that reception. They are right outside of the red zone. Herbert stepping up in the pocket, looking towards right and Woo! Gets bailed out right there, almost an interception. But this time, he's not going to get bailed out because Devin Bush is in front of that. And now, the foot race is on. Of course, he's going to outrun Ali Marpet. But can he outrun St. Brown? St. Brown making the last push. He is not going to get him. Devin Bush with the pick six. And that is going to be the ball game. 51-10. to 10. A, a big statement win for the Pittsburgh Steelers right there. Over 500 yards, no turnovers to six turnovers. When you're plus six in the turnover differential, it is hard to lose. Trevor Lawrence, great game. 156.3 quarterback rating, 20 of 26 for 323, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Obviously, the quarterback on the other end, Herbert, did not look very good at all. Le'Veon Bell had a decent game. Eric Gray, though, eight carries, 157 yards. Great showing from Eric Gray. He's been held in check the last couple of games, but shows out here. Tyler Johnson, seven catches, 73 yards. Grant Calcaterra, five catches, 123, and three touchdowns. An amazing game. Eric Gray has three for 59. LaVisca Schnault, two catches, 33 yards as well. Looking at the defensive stats, Devin Bush once again leading us in tackles. Ten total tackles in this game. Stephon Tua had a solid game. Edmonds had a great game as well. When it comes to sacks, only two sacks in the game. But Edmonds with a two interception. Sean Davis got a pick. Devin Bush got the pick six. And then the rookie, Kobe Boyce, got the interception as well. And after the game, man, we got a ton of of upgrade so michael dixon our punter he gets an upgrade we're just worried about power we're really not worried about much else but he only gets plus two to awareness come on madden what are y'all doing here is Edmonds now he had a great game of course he became a superstar in the last episode so we will upgrade zone try to make that a one his awareness pursuit and his zone coverage all move up zone coverage now at an 89 here comes our left guard evan neal we're going to go ahead and go pass protector here. He's a solid run blocker. Let's try to make him a little bit more balanced. A solid little upgrade. Vance McDonald, the backup tight end. Why not give him an upgrade since everybody's getting upgrades today? Let's go vertical threat. We're just basically trying to slow down the regression. That's all you're doing when you're getting somebody as old as Vance McDonald. A solid, solid upgrade right there. You've seen just about everything go up. Tyler Johnson, his turn now. He gets an upgrade. We're going to go with deep threat why not of course he's only out there because juju smith schuster is still injured hopefully we can get juju back next week but he gets a solid upgrade with his deep route going up three eric gray he deserves probably more than just one upgrade but he gets one upgrade we're going to use this right here to move up his elusive ability and his juke move goes up three which is now up to an 84 it started off in the 60s so we're, we're making progress with eric Gray. He's putting out a phenomenal season, trying to win AFC Rookie of the Year. We'll see how everything eventually plays out. Spin move. We still need to work on that one a little bit. Only a 72. And then Alvin Davis Jr., he gets an upgrade. We'll go to man to man. But of course, we don't need to see Alvin Davis out on the field. But now looking at the standing, AFC North still very, very tightly contested. You have the Cleveland Browns, 6 and 4. Baltimore Ravens, 5 and 4. Us, 5 and 5. And then Cincinnati Bengals, 4 and 5. So we definitely have to try to win out 
Uh, at least win a lot of these games if we're going to try to make the playoffs, man. But that is everything that we have for this episode. As usual, hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.